Tonight at 11, new developments in the death of a Marietta mother. And tonight, her ex-husband is now behind bars, charged with her murder. Police say they tracked Mickey Woolery more than 500 miles from Marietta to Indiana. Police tell us Woolery brutally attacked his ex-wife, Samantha, inside her apartment off Bells Ferry Road Sunday morning. 11 Alliance Cody Alcorn is live tonight from that complex. So, Cody, what's the Indiana connection here? Ron and Jennifer, the Woolleries are actually from Indiana around the Fisher area. However, Samantha was living here in this gated community temporarily as she was pursuing her dream of becoming a surgeon. A woman her family says had a passion for helping others and was on a mission to help save lives. She was just such a happy soul. The oldest of three children, Samantha Woolery's youngest sister, Tamika Jones, spoke to me over the phone. She was my biggest cheerleader. A mother of two. She was loved by so many people. Originally from Jamaica, moving to the U.S. at 16, creating a family and eventually becoming a nurse. And then she decided to move on, you know, to be a doctor. Which is how Samantha ended up in Atlanta, being named 2023 Surgery Intern of the Year at Morehouse School of Medicine and was an incoming surgical resident. Until her life was taken on Sunday, she was found stabbed to death inside her Marietta apartment. This is like a shock that nobody ever would have thought in a million years. Her ex-husband, Mickey Woolery, charged in her homicide. Because they've been together since the late 90s. Their mother ripped out of their lives. Now, their children may only be able to see their father behind bars for the rest of their lives. It's just a really hard time. Now, Mickey is being held in Hampton County up in Indiana in the coming days or weeks ahead. He will be extradited back to Cobb County where he will formally be charged with murder. I can't imagine what the family is going through right now, Cody. So have police or the family talked about what led up to this? Police have not released a motive as tonight. I talked to Tamika, as I mentioned, over the phone. She says, like any couple, they had their disagreements. But even after they divorced, they still talked quite a bit. In fact, she says the two lived together before Samantha moved here to Atlanta about a year ago. So, again, they are wondering the same thing. Why did this happen? In Marietta, Cody Alcorn, 11 Alive News. All right, Cody, thank you.